Hi guys, welcome to Tech Pros with yet another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to actually show your racing wheel that may be Logitech G29 or Logitech G920 on your live stream or on your other gaming videos without using cameras. Here you see that a small animation here, you see that? That's the my rising wheel status. It, this application actually shows the rising wheel status. I have an actually I have created a separate video about how to set this application and show this status on your video. That may be a live stream or your recordings. So it's an application called Wheeler and you can see that as I press the clutch, brake and acceleration it shows the status. Okay. And as I change the uh, gear, it shows that number as well. So that's how it works. So you see that? So that's how it works. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to actually show your wheel itself without using CAM. So this is a cool application you must be using. This application actually lets you show not only wheels, but also other joysticks as well, you know, like, you know, the gamepad as well, that may be Xbox or uh, PlayStation and controller. So for this video, I'm gonna close this. And first, what you needed to do is just go to this website, uh, Open Joystick Display, and download it. And the application actually supports all major platforms, that's Microsoft Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. And its portable version is also available, and an installer version is also available. I have already installed it, I have created a profile for my uh, for my raising wheel, but I'll show you how to set this up. Sometimes you'll get confused, uh, you know, as you use it for the first time. But I'll show you actually create a profile from the scratch. So once you download it and install, installing is actually pretty straightforward. All you have to do is just double click. If you're not using the portable version, just double click. Just click next, next, next. It'll install. Then you can see that joystick display. Just launch it. So this is the joystick display here. You can actually, you have several profiles here. So joysticks in the 80s and flight sticks, uh, hit boxes. You see that all sorts of controls are, controllers are actually available if you want to show them on your video. So Nintendo Switch, uh, including Rising Wheel. For Rising Wheel, it, uh, it, uh, it only features Logitech G29 or Logitech G920. Okay, so in this one, so whatever the wheel you may have, you just want to show your wheel status, and people who watch your video should have a feeling like they actually see what you exactly do with your wheel and your shifter and your pedal, right? But at the same time, you don't want to use a camera for that. So that's the idea here. So I'll show you how to do that. So here for for this profile, I'm going with an untitled profile and you can name it whatever you want so i'll name it g29 so the name is changed so then here you have several themes playstation themes you know playstation 4 nintendo and stuff you know if you want to show some other uh, game pads as well but here we are going with the rising wheel so these are the rising wheel but it's not working right now you see that now i'm actually turning the rising wheel i'm changing the shifter but it's not working but here you can see the uh, small in, in the input texture here you can see the number numbers that assign to the each and every gear and as i change this you can see that we will use this number assign that input to particular buttons in the input tester so i'll show you how to do that so here we are going with and there are several styles as well here logitech g29 gearbox right and gearbox left or gearbox no gearbox if you don't have a gearbox you don't need it right so and there is logitech g920 version and it's right and left and without gearbox okay so here we are i'm going with logitech g29 gearbox left so and then profile mapping there are several profile mapping built in so if you go with any of these profile so Many of the buttons assigned to it may be wrong and you will have to change it. But here for this video, I'm gonna go with an untitled profile so I can actually show you how to set these things up from scratch. Okay, so I'm gonna create one 
So if I go with the play PlayStation 4, I have everything set here, and you see that my wheel uh, is working, pedals, pedals are working, right? But you don't need to go with that, you can actually create an untitled one. So click create, and you have nothing here, okay? So we are gonna create a new profile from scratch, so you know how to set this up. Then for player, choose player one, and for input driver, profile input driver, go with operating system Chromium. Then here you have a chroma key option. I'll show you how to use this chroma key later on obvious. Okay, we need it. So you can enable and disable it. So enable and disable it, and you can change the color as well. So I'll show you how to do that. And you can zoom in and zoom out. So uh, I'll set it like this. So you see the most of the buttons and panels and stuff. So, and for right, let's just leave it to default. And profile window size here, height and width. You can actually change the height and width of this. Uh, you don't need to do it, just uh, leave it to default. So uh, untitled mapping. So you can actually change the name of this untitled mapping, just like the name of the profile, right? Uh, that's G29. I'm gonna uh, name it G29. Okay, G29 maybe left. That's the name of this profile. So now it's been changed here as well. You see that it was untitled profile. Now its name is G29 left. Okay, so now we are going to look at this stuff in the input tester. You can see the numbers and axis. You see that as a press acceleration. You see this uh, ping ping movie. That's, that's axis two. Then this is axis five, and this is axis one, and this is wheel. Then axis zero. And for you know, we will actually use these numbers to add some triggers. And I'll show you do that. Before that, we are gonna assign the buttons first. So as I press the buttons on the, the wheel, you can see the uh, numbers changing here. So we are going to use these numbers to assign the buttons. So let's see, first we are going to assign the buttons. Okay, first add buttons. So here first, what are we going to do? First, we are going to set the circle, square, and cross, and triangles. Okay, first tri let's go with the triangle. Okay, triangle one. So what's the number of the triangle? That's three. So just choose the name, and that's number three. Three, okay? Add one more that's up next to circle. That circle, what's the number of the circle? That's two. You know, as you press, you can see that here, number two. Mm, two. The input is actually shown in the input tester. You can see that. So that's how it works. And up next is uh, square. The square button, you see that this button. So what's the number of it? That's one. So we're gonna say that number one there. That's the button number. Now you see that all these buttons working. So except that cross one, that's X. So we're gonna add one more one, one more button and choose cross. Then what's the number of it? That's zero, that's zero. Okay, it's working now, you see that? So up next is L3, L2 and stuff that uh, we're gonna add. So first L3, you're gonna add an L3 button. So that is this. Okay, let's add an L2 first. Uh, let, it, let it be in order, right? L2, that's seven, number seven. So up next is L3, L3, that is number 11. Uh, up next is uh, R2, R2, that is uh, number six. Uh, up next is R3, that is number 10. We need to add a button first, R3. And um, R3 number 10. Okay, now see the in the input tester, you see this? All the inputs are actually shown in there. You see that? All buttons are rightly assigned now. Okay, up next is uh, the plus and minus button. So 99 and 20. So what are we gonna do is um, add plus and minus. Plus, plus button. So that's 19. Uh, up, up next is minus. 
minus 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 okay that is 20 you may not need them but still i'm just showing you how to set things up that's it so <clears throat> all major buttons are actually set so all major buttons are actually set when you're raising wheel so up next is this one okay this one that's the shifter uh, shift up and shift down on your wheel so we're gonna set that up so okay so it's it's wrongly assigned i think it's wrongly assigned it's it's now right now i'm actually pressing the right one but um, choose the right right one okay and i think that number okay it's now rightly assigned yes number four now you can see the animation there up oh, next is the left one then what's the number that's five now you can see that uh, that one as well in the youtube tester so you see that as you press this so that's it i think almost all buttons are set uh, so okay next one we're going to set um the shifters so here you see that as i change the uh gear you see this the number so we are going to uh, set the gear one gear two and stuff so let's see so gear one so for gear one that is 12 okay uh, so gear two that is 13 so you see that as I change this, it shows the number of the gear you are on right now. Okay, next is okay, cool. So all gears are set. Now you can see that as I change the gear, so it shows the number in the input texture. Okay, so that's how it works. It's cool, right? So you no longer need a camera to show your gear or rising wheel or the pedals at all. You can actually capture this animation on your OBS and show it on your live stream or your, on your other gaming records, gaming videos. That's really cool. So and there is the reverse one. So for reverse, we need to, that's 18. Okay, so we're going to add one more gear. Because then it's six gear, and the last one is reverse. That's push down reverse. That is 18. Okay, now it's on the reverse. So, yeah. See that? So, up next is pedals. So, we are going to assign pedals. So, for this and the wheel, it's wheel as well. So, first we will set the wheel, okay? So for for that we need to add a, add triggers. So add triggers, and what's the number of this axis? So this is wheel. Just see you just see the see it moving, right? So that's zero. And what's the degree of the wheel? That's uh nine hundred nine hundred. Now you see that it's moving. So you know the minimum is set to minus one. You know, as you uh, turn all the way left, you will get the the minimum uh, axis of this, you know, this wheel. And as you turn all the way right, you'll get the maximum. That's one. So that's what assigned here. Okay. So minus one and ma uh, and one. Okay. And trigger button. You don't need to set any trigger button here. You need to change this from 180 to 900 for these applications to take the input from your wheel, okay? Otherwise, it can't actually show. As I, if you set it like 180, you see that? This much. So you need to set it to 900 or so whatever the degrees your wheel is. So it's, in my case, it's 900, okay? So up next, we are going to set pedals. So you see that as I press pedals, you can see the movements and axis 
and the input texture. So we're gonna add one more triggers. In this case, that's one. That's one. I'm right now pressing the clutch pedal. That's one. So now you see that it's moving. So you don't need to do anything, just click yes in words. So that's how it works. In words or no. So set it to yes, that looks even better. You see that as they go down, it looks really cool. So yep, up next is um, brake pedal. So in this one, brake is number five. Okay, so we will assign number five here. So here you can see that number five axis number five. Now you see that, so it's just, Leave everything else to its default. That's minus one, one, and if you want invert, do that as well. So let's put it invert. Yes. Okay. So up next is uh, acceleration. That is axis number two. Add a trigger mm, number two. So yes. See that. So leave everything else to its default. That's minus one and one. So almost everything is said. Now you are ready to use this window. Capture this window on your OBS. Okay. So what we're gonna do is just often I've already uh, set the window, but anyway I'm gonna create a a new source here. So on your OBS, add a new source. Uh, to your streaming profile that should be of a window capture so here we are going to add a window capture and I'm going to name it um, G29 overlay okay G29 overlay so click OK then I'm gonna uh, to capture the window you need to choose the window that you want to capture so we have Microsoft Store, Microsoft Edge make soft edge and there is this open joystick display we want to capture this window right uh, open joystick display okay so capture method that's uh, automatic or uh, big big windows or anything else just set it to leave it to default you don't need to do anything just click okay now you can see the window on obvious so what we are gonna do is just we need to get rid of all these options from the window right all you have to do is just activate the window and click escape button. It, it'll actually toggle the broadcast mode off and on using the escape button. This is the broadcast mode and this is the settings mode, okay? You need to press escape button. So that's it. Now you look at here, you see this, but still you can actually see the game. Now I'm gonna uh, launch a game here. You see that this is a problem. It's, it's a small window, but still look at that. It's actually covering the most part of the game, right? So for that, we are going to use the chroma key feature that this uh, application actually offers. For that, just press escape, go to this settings window, then here, enable this chroma key and the change the color to green. That's it. And click escape. Uh, on obvious in the source window you actually added a window window source that actually captures the window of this particular rising wheel right just right click on it and click filters and here you can actually add filters for that add a comma key then just just add g29 comma key name it g29 comma key okay and click okay it's gone see that now look at that it looks really cool right so next you can change the position of this you can actually put it wherever you want you can adjust the size of it this this okay this size is right right size i think then click lock preview if you lock preview and on and off you can actually choose particular source and you can actually adjust that particular uh, source right uh, let's change okay, this one. See that? So that's a great. Now you see this. It looks really cool, right? So on the chroma key window, you can actually adjust its 
mm, uh, I just see similarity, smoothness and stuff, you know, as you increase the smoothness, it goes away and you know, as you decrease the smoothness, uh, it gets better, okay? So I think this is, this looks better, right? And you can adjust the similarity as well. See that? You as you adjust the similarity, the background color actually goes away. For better result, just play around with these buttons, and you'll get the best result result possible. I think this is the right question. Up next is smoothness. Just increase the smoothness so that. It just covers that green thing around the wheel and pedal, but at the same time, you shouldn't lose it too much, it just blurs it. So, yeah, so and then key color spill reduction you can adjust that as well. Key color spill reduction, so and the opacity and contrast. Oh, it looks better, much better now. Oh, here, you can adjust color as well. And brightness. I think you should increase the brightness that much. This is a white. This is a white. I think leave it to default. I think you don't need to do anything. But for contrast, that's fine. You can adjust contrast, so it's much better to see. Yeah. Uh, as we press these buttons, oh, it looks, it looks really good. See that? It's really cool. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's that looks cool. Okay, that's it. And close. Now you're set to stream. You're ready to go. Now you can play whatever the game with your wheel, racing wheel, or joystick. You can actually set joystick as well, like this on open joystick display. And I'm gonna lock here. So, yeah. See that? That looks really, really cool. Why? So I have a video here, I'll show you what it actually looks like once you record the video. This is what it looks like on a, on your screen or record a video. It looks really cool. You no longer need to use a separate cam for your pedals and gear shifter and the shifter and the raising wheel. You can just use this and it's awesome. So that's it guys. That's how you use Open Joystick Display. You can actually use this application to show some other uh, controller as well, not just the wheel. And uh, I hope this video helps. So to escape from the broadcast mode, just click to activate the window, just tape it and you get the settings mode. That's it. I hope this video helps. Please hit the like and subscribe. Also share the video with, the fr with your friends and others. Uh, who may also find this video really helpful. So guys, thanks for watching. Bye. Take care.